going, guys? Literally early. I mean, it's not early in the morning. It's like 2, 2.33. Hold up. Um, can you guys hear the music of the game? Or do you guys still hear like a beat in the background? I think the, I think the OST OST plays the playlist is playing. It was good, Nico. Um, yeah, the OST is playing. What in the world? Oh, it's probably because of my settings. Probably because of my settings. Yep, the sound is not even on. Okay. Now, now can you guys hear a Tower of God? Can you guys hear it now? And how loud is it? You still can't hear it? I'm pretty sure you guys could hear it right now. Let me check the stream real quick. I can hear now it's just super quiet. Oh, it's quiet. Okay, let me try to boost up the volume. Okay, I turned it up a little bit. It should be good now. Yeah, it should be good now. All right, yo, what's what's going on, guys? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. It's fine. Okay, good, good, good. I forgot to like switch my settings before I went live, so I apologize for that. What's going on, guys? All right, let me see if I. Ooh, there it is. I told y'all I made a video talking about this free SSR green soulstone. That's crazy. I'm going go to claim that. Um, let me see if we can okay we already got our shalil maxed out so oh which 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 green character should i get honestly i'm not even gonna lie i wish that they i wish like they gave us the opportunity to still get copies of collab characters it's just really frustrating how like they still haven't given us like the opportunity to get copies of them it's like I don't know man it's just weird because i still want to get more copies of her but that's just not possible <clears throat> now, let's go ahead and claim this though let's claim this um items all right green ssr soul stone what can we get Whatever, man. Whatever. Let's go ahead and limit break her. All right. Um. Keep going. I mean, I'm I'm not even gonna use this character. So, are you going to try soul leveling or weathering waves? Um. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try both of them. I'm gonna try both. So, soul leveling is coming. I think March. Not March. Uh, May eighth. And Wuthering Waves is coming, I think, I forgot, I think Wuthering Waves is coming like the 20, 22nd? If somebody knows the release date for Wuthering Waves, put in the chat, because I don't know. I forgot. But I'm definitely going to check check out both of those games, for sure. So. <clears throat> Alright, as you guys can see, 
I got my red mask at like three three red stars and I'm not gonna lie man she's cooking so far she is cooking she is cooking so far Twenty second May is Wuthering Ways premiere. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try out both games for sure. I'm gonna try them both out, and it depends. If both games are good, then I might cover them on the channel. Soul leveling, I'm covering on the channel, but for Wuthering Waves, if Wuthering Waves is a good game, then I am going to cover it on the channel. It just depends on whether or not the game is good. If the game isn't good, then I don't know. But so far, like the top games on the on the channel are uh, AFK Journey and Tower of God, New World so far. And if you guys are wondering, you know what happened to Reverse 1999? I just dropped that game. I dropped it because it's just there's really nothing going on in that game to be honest. There's really nothing going on, and there's like no PVP, no in-game content. It's just story, so there's no point for me to cover that game. Reverse is a good game, but there's no point at all. All right, um, growth missions. I mean, we only got her at three red stars, so we can't get any more. I'm trying to get her to like max rainbow stars, but yeah, I've been I've been testing uh, Hua so far, and she's kind of crazy. Should I pull for Arc Raptor or should I just pull a Vicente and the new War Room? Um, you should just go for Vicente and Hua, the new Hua. Uh, she's not a she's not a tank unit. Like, what is not a tank? She's mostly like a. How can I say this? She's like a sub DPS unit. Uh, kind of new to the game. Do you recommend investing in a new character? Um, if you have Vicente, and you also have the support version of Hua, then yes, she is actually pretty good. But anyways, uh, make sure you guys like the stream as well. And if you guys are new here subscribe i'd really appreciate it now let me check the ranking board let's claim this when to claim that okay and then agency service center let's receive this <laughs> okay and by the way alliance so if you guys are trying to join an alliance there's currently three spots available so if you want to join here's the information and yeah you just can't be inactive for like seven days if you're inactive for seven days then you're gonna get kicked but as long as you're participating then you can stay in the alliance so three more spots available available this is the information so if you guys want to join up here it is and you do have to be level 150 in order for you to join Alright, so first things first. Today, um, I'm gonna drop the Hua showcase video today. So stay tuned for that because I might drop it tomorrow, but I, I think I'm definitely gonna drop it today or tonight. So yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for the that showcase video. I joined, but the line time in is kind of cooking. I mean, hey, I'm not forcing you to join, but like if you need an active alliance then my alliance is always a, always available for you to join so first things first what i'm going to do is um if i head on over to trial area man i wish that the red element trial was available for today that would have been perfect but it's only available through sunday wednesday and saturday so it would have been really nice for red element trial to be available when the new character dropped but unfortunately nope but First, we're gonna come to adventure and we're gonna go ahead and try to clear some stages so this is the team that i'm currently using with the new character so this team is absolutely crazy now let me go ahead and talk about this new character so if i come back over here to well so we're gonna read her kit and i'm not gonna go over every single detail because that, i'm gonna save that for the video but let's go ahead and talk about her kit right here so if we look at her passive she can basically increase physical pierce by like 16% max, which is kind of crazy. 
So, looking at her passive, she's already going to be like a necessity for um, physical pierce damage type units like Vicente, a compressed rack. She's going to be really, really nice. And she has a thing called Immersion Tier. And Immersion Tier is like max 10 stacks. It's like there's like 10 tiers in total. And basically says Horon's Immersion Tier increases each time her basic attack lands and missing a basic attack resets it. So accuracy is extremely important on her because you don't want her to actually miss her basic attack. If she misses, then you're going to reset the Immersion Tier. You want her to land as much basic attack as much as possible so that she can get max tiers for her immersion and it says at the highest tier of immersion um she is going to enter the method state for six seconds increasing her attack speed by 80 so she's going to be a pretty crazy unit considering the fact that she's going to have insane attack speed and on top of that um the fact that she's the fact that her attack speed is increased by 80 basically proves that you can reach that max immersion tier pretty quickly because of the attack speed so that's actually pretty good and it says while in the method state every third strike of was basic attack creates an observer which deals 80 percent of her attack as damage to the enemy and silence and silence them for one second so she also has silence in her kit so every third attack third strike of her basic attack is gonna deal some pretty good damage and then she's going to silence the enemy for one second and then we continue it says in addition status effects apply to enemies with was basic attack or skills also stop the target's active skill cooldowns so yo her passive is crazy yeah but does she have any survivability yes she has insane survivability because of her special move so i'm going to talk about that so just wait for that but when we call, go on over to her active skill which is dramatic tension She's going to swing her spear um, and then she's going to deal damage when she swings the spear and then she's going to knock back enemies near the target but not the target themselves for two seconds and then uh, Hua then makes the target fully immersed provoking them and evading all attacks from enemies other than the target for three seconds. So she also has provocation in her kit which is actually pretty good so I will say she is not a tank unit but the provoke is really nice so she has provocation in one of her active skills and then external conflict she's going to take her spear and just throw it around in the battlefield and it's just going to stay in the battlefield and just do a lot of damage and it's also going to stun enemies and yeah that's pretty much her external conflict um active skill it does pretty good damage and this this right here is what makes her really really broken so for her special move She's going to leap into the air and then she's going to do some pretty good damage. And then she's going to knock down the enemy for like two seconds. Now, this is what makes her really, really cracked. The after effects of the climax remain and Hua's basic attacks do not miss for six seconds. Hua becomes invincible while using this skill. So, basically, when she's using this skill, she's going to become invincible. Now, I don't know if she's going to be immune to status effects i don't know if that's what they mean when they mean invincible but when she's using this skill she's going to be invincible and the part that makes her really good is the fact that she's able to land all of her basic attacks within six seconds when she uses her special move so yeah i didn't read that far exactly like her special move is what makes her passive really really insane so She's basically going to have insane attack speed because her special move is going to grant her that guaranteed basic attack, which is going to help her reach that max immersion tier. So looking at her kit, definitely good character overall. Now, when we talk about um, ignition weapons, so ignition weapons, I feel like Bergamot is definitely going to be a good ignition weapon for her due to the fact that it's going to increase her survivability. And the fact that she can also prop provocation, you can also put the uh, the Miyong set. If I come down over here, you can also put this set on her the defense set because she can prop provocation, and this set is going to basically give her additional physical resistance and magic resistance. So this set is also pretty good on her, but I feel like Bergamot will increase her survivability a lot more because of the lifesteal. 
So this is basically the set that I'm using on her. And for the shoes and the gloves, you want to put on um, magic resistance and physical resistance for increased survivability because honestly, you can really, you can make her a DPS unit, but I feel like making her a sub DPS unit is the best way to go. And you want her to stay alive as much as possible so that she can do some pretty good damage. And on top of that, she can um, increase uh, your allies physical pierce so that's pretty much the build for what well, i'm gonna come down over here to adventure and we're gonna go ahead and try to clear some stages now this is the team that i'm using right here so as you guys can see we have uh Eskinor, and we also have yurik mazano so characters that you want to really use with uh hua is characters who can do physical damage so if we look at vicente but since he is a physical damage type unit and when we look at Hua's kit when we look at her passive you guys can see that she buffs physical pierce so pairing her up with units like Vicente um pressed rack really good because she can buff their physical pierce so uh, she is kind of a global sub dps support exactly yeah basically she's like a physical damage type support unit and at the same time also deals some pretty good damage so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this attempt right here. And the reason why you want to use the other version of Qua is because, um, I mean, she's a requirement with Vicente. Like you actually have to use her with Vicente because her passive is going to allow your team to get that additional energy. And she's going to give Vicente that additional crit and attack. So this is pretty much like the most solid team comp I, I can think of with Hua. So we're gonna go ahead and enter battle and let's see how she can perform here. All right, so here we go. Why is this in slow motion? All right, so as you guys can see, you see that red bar right there? That red bar is her immersion tier. And that's pretty much, once it reaches, once the bar is full, it means that she reached max immersion tier, which is like 10 stacks. Like, yeah, you have to reach 10 in order for her to get the max stacks. And she's going to get that additional 80 attack speed. So just look at this. You guys can see that everyone has their energy because Vicente one shot it. And just look at this. Yo, this team is crazy. This team is crazy. So let's go ahead and check the stats right now. So as you guys can see, 146 million damage. Vicente 393 million. Esconor 124 million damage. And so on and so forth. So what you guys think? What you guys think so far about this team? What you guys think? I'm going to continue some more, but so far, how y'all feeling? <clears throat> Not bad. I know. She's actually pretty good. Let's go and continue. All right. So I apologize for that sound. This chair is so garbage i need to get me a new chair i need to actually get me like a gaming chair i've had this chair for like for like three four years i need to get me a new chair but um okay so for this team i think we can still beat this team honestly it doesn't even matter now the reason why you want to have yurik Maznal in this team is because yurik is going to give your team shield so he's going to increase your team's survivability overall and Escanor. He's going to proc provocation and decrease the enemy's movement speed. So Eskinor is really nice, but the fact that he is a collab unit, you can also use a uh, Karaka. Karaka is going to be really good because he can also proc provocation and he's going to increase your team's survivability overall. So um, you're going to max her out 100%. I'm 100% going to max her out. I feel like maxing her out is the best way to go because when you look at her special move, you want to make sure that she can land her basic attacks as much as possible so that she can reach that max immersion stacks and we pair her with any with another physical dps yeah for sure 100 percent. yes you can you can pair her up with compressed rack because compressed rack is physical pierce um you can literally pair her up with any other physical damage type unit 
she works really well with them so we're gonna go ahead and pop this attempt right here all right let's see what we got so she already reached the max emergence here look at her attack speed crazy You guys see this look at this the staff that she throws that's going back and forth that thing is insane it is just stupid so let's go ahead and check her um stats for her right here real quick so 180 million damage so you guys can clearly see that she can do some pretty good damage that's why i said that she is she's basically a sub dps slash support character she's a sub dps support character because she can do good damage she has insane attack speed and on top of that, she can pretty much buff physical pierce, which is really good for physical damage type units. So, yeah, she is absolutely insane with Vicente. Like, she is crazy. Let's go ahead and continue that. Now, we're going to go ahead and enter the difficulty mode right now. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to come over here. So, as you guys can see, if I come over to my third team, I'm literally using her with Vicente compressed rack and of course uh support qua and bomb so you can literally use her with any physical damage type unit because of her passive we're gonna go ahead and enter battle and let's see what we can do so far that is without auto and it is nuts exactly it's crazy like i wasn't expecting her to do that much damage like i thought she was going to be a tank unit because of her provocation but the spear that she throws that's going back and forth in the battlefield is just absolutely busted it's crazy like, i can definitely see her being a really cracked unit in pvp and just to let you guys know i have not tried a hell train yet i haven't tried the hell train event yet so i might try it out in this live stream and i'm definitely gonna make a video talking about hell train for sure <clears throat> Alright, so we're now entering round three. But look at this right here. So she might die right here. But look at her attack speed. Oh my gosh, yo, the attack speed is crazy. When you reach max immersion stats with her, it's over. And Shalil, man, they, bro, Shalil is, Shalil will be such a good unit, but her survivability is just so bad. Her survivability is absolutely terrible. Oh, wait, whoa. I just realized I was not doing this in auto mode the whole time. No wonder. I'm like. Bro. I was confused because I was looking at my characters and I'm like, yo, why are they, why are they not attacking? Oh my God. All right. Let's see what happens here. Yo, why is it playing the cutscenes? That's weird. That is really weird. <clears throat> Alright. I can't believe I just did that. That was that was crazy. Let's act like that never happened. But, I mean, that pretty much proves that she is really good without even using her special move, so, hey. But, okay, Shalil, look at look at this damage, bro. Shalil is actually pretty good. It's just her survivability that's just terrible. Um, Let's look at this. She's a really good unit. Alright, let's continue right now, so... Okay, now, when it comes down to Kaseya... You really want to be careful with Kaseya because she is going to go to your back row and try to immediately one-shot of Vicente, Hua, or any character who's in the back row. So you always want to use like a tank unit 
and put them in a the back row so that you know your main dps and support units won't get one tapped so i'm gonna put all of them up front right here so that kaseya what one shot them and yeah we can pretty much win this so let's see what happens here bro okay Okay, I'm actually going to let this play because I like this character. Bro, that is so, that's so fire. That is so fire. Alright. I don't understand why cutscenes are playing. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, I haven't looked at her cutscene yet. Let me see what it looks like. It's kind of fire. But look at this, you see? Now she's having guaranteed basic attacks. And another thing that makes her really good is the fact that the fact that she's getting a bunch of the fact that she's getting 80 attack speed, she's going to get more energy because she's like basically doing more damage. And when you pair her up with support Hua, when you look at her passive, when you whenever you defeat an enemy with the mark, you're going to get 400 energy. So you literally need to use um, support Hua, Vicente, and the new uh, the sub DPS Hua, so that they can all get energy like 24/7. So these three together are perfectly synergized. You have Vicente who's going to one shot the enemy with the mark, which is going to give your whole team energy. And then once so a uh, sub DPS Hua gets her ultimate, it's going to have guaranteed basic attacks. It's just crap. Like they they were cooking. They were literally cooking with this character. Now let's continue. Um, okay, 3130. Okay, same thing again. We have Kaseya, so we're gonna use the same team. <clears throat> oh damn, my Vicente got one tap, but let's see if we can actually clear this without Vicente. This can pretty much test her uh, DPS capabilities. Okay. Pretty good damage. <clears throat> yeah, we cleared this. We cleared this without Vicente. So, even without Vicente, she can still do some pretty good damage, even without him. Let's go ahead and check the stats right here. So, of course... Eric Mazino doing insane damage. 172 million. Absolutely insane. Let's continue. Alright, now. Okay, so we don't really have to put Sente up front. Because we can counter in Dorsey. And Dorsey doesn't really one shot. First time here started watching when I was looking for guys very well written. Nice one. Appreciate it. Your swordsmanship is unremarkable. 258 million damage, 243 million. Oh my gosh. This team is insane. Okay, so now. Oof. Ooh. Okay, number three is going to be tough because we have like two one shot units. So I'm going to have to swap that over. Um, let's swap it over here instead. Yeah, I feel like that's a good idea. Um, we can put Eskinor up here. The Otis. Alright, I think we got it. <clears throat> Yo, why are, why is everybody cutscene playing? I don't understand. How good is the new Hua? Um, she's actually pretty good. She's actually pretty nice. 
Really solid character. Like, if you guys were to ask me um, whether or not to summon for her, uh, I 100% recommend you to summon for her because she is a... She's basically a necessity for physical damage type characters because of her passive. That physical pierce is crazy. Oh my gosh. Bro, that attack speed is cracked. The attack speed is insane. When you reach like max immersion tier, she just becomes like a machine gun. Okay, why is everybody still playing? Like, this is weird. I don't understand why everyone's skill is playing. It's really weird. If anybody played the Hell Train event, what do you guys think about it so far? I'm about to check it out. Is it pay to win, free to play? What's the What's the verdict? Okay. Let me easily clear this. Hey, 207 million, not bad. I'm gonna check this one out. 417 million, 427 million. Looking good. It's a more balanced arena. Sounds pretty good. I was hoping that it was gonna be balanced because honestly, um, arena really is a PVP. I mean, a PVP or ranked arena is extremely pay to win. I was going to claim that now. So that's pretty much her performance in adventure mode. Like if you guys have been wondering whether or not to summon for this character, um, hopefully that was enough to help you guys out and you know, help you make your own decision. But she's a good character. She's really nice. Like she's a really nice character. And she looked good too. Good too. But yeah, they they cooked with her. They cooked really, really good with her. Um, she works really well with Vicente. She works well with Warun. Um, Just a really, really nice character. Boot seems good. Okay. I'm still trying to level up her equipment. Now, for her exclusive equipment... Um, now, her exclusive equipment... I will say for her exclusive... Level 1 and level 2 is a necessity. You need her at level 1 because she's going to get that additional accuracy for like by like 50%. And that's going to be really, really crack considering the fact that you want her to land basic attacks as much as possible. Because if she doesn't land basic attacks, then her max immersion will reset. So level 1 is just a requirement. And level 2 is also a requirement because... Um, it says the movement speed of the spinning gear used for ex external conflict increases by two times and yeah so the more emergent tier she has the more she can increase each time an enemy is struck by the spinning the spinning uh, spear so yeah level one and level two you need those two levels for her exclusive equipment level three and level four not really level three is just for additional survivability but if you don't want to max out her exclusive equipment, then I would say that level one and level two is a requirement. Like you actually need her at level one because of that additional accuracy for her basic attack. So that's pretty much her exclusive equipment. And then for report, you guys already know, you always want to get that 100 accuracy and evasion to requirement. So yeah, and then how many copies do you need on her? I will say minimum three red stars. Three red stars minimum, 
and you definitely want to rainbow her like rainbowing her will be an absolute must because you'll be able to immediately proc her special move and it's going to allow her to get guaranteed basic attacks for like six seconds seemingly broken so yeah you definitely want to max her out for sure just like meliotis so yeah that's pretty much what and i am going to make a showcase video don't worry about it it is going to drop today so stay tuned for that like probably might drop around like five o'clock six o'clock or even seven so i'm definitely gonna drop a Hua showcase video today yeah that's all we have for her <clears throat> i also have a hot deal summon so i'm gonna go ahead and pop that we can get a copy that would be nice Okay, we got an animation. Nice. <laughs> Fuck you. My goodness. Alright, let's check out Hell Train. Let's see if Hell Train is good. So, I'm going to come over here to Arena. Now we have Hell Train. So it says you've reached the Hell Train boarding station. Collect tickets to reach higher areas and get off at the Name Hunt station. Make it to the Name Hunt station festival. So these are basically the ranks. We have uh, three ranks in total. And the highest rank is, of course, going to be the named area rank. Let's go ahead and board. Okay, Honkai Staro. <laughs> All right, so I'm in the gold area. Nice. Welcome aboard to the Hell Train. As a passenger, you will be assigned to a section based on your train points. Passengers can engage in battle to take points from one another. You can move up the sections by earning points. You will receive a reward for entering a new section for the first time. Each car is divided into sections ranging from bronze to diamond. And different sections require different numbers of defense formations. Okay. Now let's abide by the boarding rules and set defense formations for each section. Set up. All right. So I feel like the first team, of course, I mean, I want to go ahead and use purple team comp, obviously. But we're going to take out Escanor and put in Karaka instead. I'm going to save that. We're going to continue. Um, go out and then we're gonna go to wait bronze to silver section defense formation oh okay I was confused there for a second so this is gold to diamond all right um let's use purple team comp first and then take out Escanor and put in Karaka and then for number two we can choose we can choose a red team comp. We're gonna take out Gia Gia and we're gonna put in the new Hua. Put her up here. Yeah, this is a nice team. And then for a third team comp, it's going to be... I mean, we can't put blue team comp because we already had Escanor. So I feel like we should put in... I feel like green, green team is pretty solid. So Rachel... That is a hard. Little. Okay, you and then we can put in. We can put in a Lero. Lero is going to be pretty nice. There he is. All right, so save. Characters used in the. Uh, what's up uh ahmed first team should not be the strongest that is true a uh, character is used in the bronze stage can be used in gold and diamond stage okay that makes sense so i do agree um our first team i'm going to put green team as our like our first team because that's not like our strongest team and we should put purple team comp for second and then 
we should put red team for third. I feel like that's actually pretty fair. Let's save that. No way, you always go live? I mean, the last time I went live before this live stream was, I think, two weeks ago. I don't really go live a lot, but I'm planning on going live every single time there's a new update in Tower of God. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm planning on doing from now on. I might, there, there are going to be some days where I'm not going to go live, but I'm trying my best. What the f <laughs> Yo! What are these rewards? Hey. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yo, this is crap. Now, I did wish that they would give us revolution fragments instead, but... I'll take the shiny revolutions instead, but dang, bro, that's some juicy rewards. So if the characters used in bronze stage can be reused, then it doesn't matter. Forget what. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you're putting characters in bronze, you can still use them in your gold defense formation. I love TOG. I always wanted to see you completing stages arenas. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing now. But wow, those rewards are actually pretty good. So let's go ahead and let's let's start it. All right, so this guy he has 169 million power. I think we can actually beat this guy. So we're gonna use um purple team first, and then number two is going to be purple team comp. We're gonna take out Escanor. We're gonna put in Baraka, and then number three we're gonna put in a uh, red team comp. So we're gonna take out. Dia and sub DPS well. I need to say I need to save this team. I need to save this. This is gonna be the new red team comp. Red team comp. Change. Alright, let's go ahead and quick battle. Let's see. Let's see if we can win this. Okay, we got clapped in the first stage, okay. What? Okay, we won the third one. How did my purple team lose that? That's crazy. Purple team comp losing is insane. Light Yuri did more damage than my Joaquin. That is crazy, but okay. Um, let's do another attempt. 169 million. Okay. I mean, this is pretty much the same guy I just went against. Uh, is she any good? I, th I think you're talking about the new character. Yeah, she's good. Um, let me go ahead and swap out. Let me swap out these two. Because Vasite is going to target the highest DPS unit, which is going to be Yiwa. So this team would actually be pretty cracked for... Um, yeah, that would be actually pretty good. For some reason, I couldn't even beat his team too, so I'm going to go ahead and swap it down over here. And yeah, let's see what happens. What was that second round? I don't know. I don't know how his Yurik Mazano is able to do more damage than my Joaquin. That was crazy. But I think we can actually beat him this time, though. There it is. We did it. And then round three. We, we should beat round three. All right. Thank you. We just had the wrong team placement. Um, Will Joaquin always be meta? Yes. Joaquin is really the best DPS character in the game. No questions asked. He's like the best DPS unit in the entirety of this game because... He's like the only DPS unit that doesn't have to rely on his special move. He can literally one shot without using his special move. He can just teleport and instant one tap everybody. He's just broken. And he has really good survivability with Bergamot set. So yeah, Joaquin is cracked. 
But I will say Kaseya, Kaseya is kind of nasty when you put on the right, when you, when you put on the right ignition weapon for Kaseya, she can one tap literally everybody. It's insane. But we won that, which is really nice. Now this guy has 186 million power. Let's see what he's using. So he's using blue team comp. He's using green team comp, and he's also using a universal team. All right, so. I feel like for number one, number one is going to be tough because he does have an Escanor in his team, but we also have an Escanor as well. And I'm pretty sure his Elizabeth has the highest uh, attack, so Vicente will one-shot her. Hmm. Interesting. This is tough. This is actually tough. I think I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and swap. We're going to swap purple team and put purple team in the middle. And I have rainbow. That is a heart. Which SSR plus should I focus on now? Um, You should focus on. I'll say flight Yurik Mazino. Flight Yurik Mazino. He's cracked. Um, I think this is actually pretty good. We have... I think this is nice. I think we can beat this. Let's see what happens. We might lose this. I don't know. Okay, so we won the, won the first part. Nice. Second round. Uh, dang it. Okay. Um. What about third one? Let's go. We won it. I'm kind of uh. I'm kind of a new. So is she a must or not? Um. I'll say well, she is a must if you're using physical damage type characters like Vicente, uh, compressed rack. You actually need her. Like if you have a Vicente who's like max copies you invested in him you actually need her because she's going to buff his damage because of the physical pierce uh don't skip results is you don't want me to skip results you want me to go through the fight all right 170 million okay this is a weird team he's using a hybrid purple, a hybrid purple and blue team. That's actually interesting. Um, I think we can beat this guy. This time I'm gonna actually go through it. I'm not gonna do a quick result. Well, my back is. Let's see what happens here. So, we get that one shot. Ooh, we gotta get rid of that Yiwa. There it is. Yo, this team is nasty. So, what ignition set you use for her? Um, I'm using Bergamot set. You can use Bergamot or you can use the Neon set because she can proc provocation and the Neon set will work on her. So, you can use Bergamot or Neon, which is the defense set. Man, Shalil, Shalil needs a buff. She needs a survivability buff. Like, she is such a good DPS character, but her survivability is just so bad. It's just really terrible. Look at this. Like, she's literally destroying my dad as a heart. Okay. Um, let's check out the damage. So... Okay, Vicente did some good damage. Alright. Okay, not bad. Okay, we only have one more tip left, so let's go ahead and uh, fight this guy next. Um, He has 240. 
okay let me see so for for the first first round we can easily clap this guy's team on um, second round yeah we can easily destroy his second uh team and then for third round oh this guy's an easy win easy win easy win And by the way, are you guys excited for anniversary? Because anniversary is coming soon. Um, I think this game was released on June. Was it released in June or July? I'm pretty sure it was released in July or August. I might be wrong. Does anybody know? I think this game was released in either July or August. I think. So we have like... We have like three more months or four more months left until anniversary i wonder what they're gonna do uh july yeah so we basically have like three more months left before anniversary so i wonder what they're gonna do give us a free ssr plus what they gonna do hey man we got clap bro and yeah, we got clap 23rd okay yeah I, I really wonder what they're gonna do for anniversary like what are they gonna do Free SSR Plus would be nice. But the thing is, it's like we already got that before. They already gave us like a free SSR Plus before. So I wonder like what's like what else are they gonna do besides free SSR Plus? I feel like they should hmm. free SSR Plus. I don't know. I don't know. Yo, 15 SSR Soul Stones and 40 uh ex enchantment extracts. Yo, Hell Train is absolutely cracked. Really, really good. So that was pretty much Hell Train. I feel like Hell Train is pretty is pretty good. It is a really fun um event. Not event, but PvP mode. It's actually pretty fired. They did a good job. Which server are you playing on? Um server 11. They gotta drop the boy revolution. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't know who that is at all. Okay, we got an SSR Soulstone. What do we get? Stupid. <laughs> it could have been the other one, but nah. nah. Alright. So if I come over here to Black Market, we can do a multi-summon right here. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm still trying to get Child Yuri because she's actually a really good unit. So... Ooh. <laughs> got an animation, boys. What else we got? Come on, thumbs up. I hate you. All right, let's skip. If we check the event, um, oh, we didn't even start the part two. I didn't even start that yet. That's crazy. Um, I did not start that yet at all. So we're going to go ahead and check out the part two. Honestly, man, I should have recorded. I should have recorded my reaction to Hell Train and my uh, sub DPS Hua showcase, but that's fine. I'm going to do that later. Let's go ahead and check out the event story. I'm not gonna lie. Um, when it comes to the event story, I literally skipped through it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not interested. Not interested at all. I just don't care. Do you guys do the same thing too? Like y'all just skip the story? Gonna enter battle. <clears throat> I skipped too exactly. I just, I just don't feel like going through all of that. Listen to the story. I don't have time for that, honestly. I gotta test some characters. So the next character that we're going to get after sub DPS Hua is going to be, it's going to be the new, the new rack. It's going to be like the um the new rack. That's who we're going to get. He's going to be an SSR plus. But I wonder who we're gonna get after Rack. 
because honestly there are a lot of characters that they need to release for example um shalil's twin sister they still haven't released her yet and they still haven't released vivi so there's like a lot of characters that need they need to um release after rack so i don't know hopefully shalil's sister is going to be some sort of support unit that can increase shalil's survivability because uh shalil's survivability is trash <laughs> like she she has poor survivability but her damage is insane she has insane damage uh, damage capability <clears throat> well done. Auto clear. Um, let's just auto clear this. I'm gonna do five stages, eight stages instead. Actually, I want to switch my team. Why am I using this team? I'm gonna use what instead. Yeah. Auto clear. All right, we got act act two now. Compressed rack is better than rack, one hundred percent. Compressed rack is the goat. Yo, what is this walking animation? Whoever did this, bro. <laughs> Bro, what is this walking animation, bro? Is she walking on a treadmill? Like, what is this? If a unit has um, X evasion, increase evasion by 200. If unit has accuracy, increase accuracy, 80% would be cracked. I mean, that that's, that's, that's like the problem with Shalil. Like, when we look at Shalil's kit, like, when we look at her passive... She literally has increased accuracy and increased evasion, but her survivability is still bad. So I just don't understand. Like, you would think that the fact that she has increased evasion, her survivability would be cracked, but nah. She's just bad. Like, it would have been better if they made her an assassin character, but I don't know. It's weird. <clears throat> How does precision work if a character is fast? Will it bypass my skill? Hold up, I'm trying to read this comment, but I can't stand when YouTube does this. Like, they put an emoji in the win, I can't even read it. Um, if a character is fast, will it bypass my skills? Oh, I, I get what you're saying. So, you're basically saying if a character has a lot of evasion. Can your accuracy bypass that evasion? Is that what you're saying? If maybe a support that increases her survivability depending on the unit's evasion and accuracy could be good. Yeah, like they just need like what Shalil needs is a character who's going to increase her survivability. That's all she needs. A character who's going to probably increase her um evasion just something something to increase her survivability because i feel like shalil is a character who has a lot of potential but the only thing that's holding her back is her survivability her survivability is absolutely trash it's terrible let's go to skip this like her damage is just her damage is god tier but survivability poor auto clear this All right, so let's go and check out Tower Fun Run. So I'm gonna go ahead and use multiple. I mean, hold up. What? What's the reward? What's the rewards we get from this? So it says reach bonus tile to activate a bonus that doubles your rewards on the next tile. And this is some RNG crap, honestly. But hey, we can also get copies of uh, Hua, so I'll take it. I'm gonna use it. Okay. use that too
So it says laps completed three. I have to complete two more laps in order for me to get another copy of Hua. And then after that, you can just get um, Revolution Fragments. Okay, not bad. Leave that, and then for Event Exchange Shop, we can also get some Hua copies, which is really dope. So I will take it. But I'm pretty sure we also have some, yeah, we also have some summit tickets, so let's pop this. Let's see if we can actually get some whole copies here. There we go. Got an SSR. <clears throat> Come on. What's there to life? You fight, kill, and die. I think this is Blue Road. Yeah, it, it is Blue Road. I mean, eh. We'll take it, I guess. Another SSR. Oh. Right. So yeah, that was bad. Um, let me come down over here. Let's go ahead and uh, send our Blue Road. So I'm pretty sure Blue Road is now at. If I'm correct. He is at two yellow stars. Yeah, two orange stars. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase his evasion because he needs that. All right. All right. So we did the event. We did Hell Train. Um, I mean, we can go ahead and uh, continue uh, Trial Area. Get some more rewards right here. Um. Okay. So Escanor. Actually, no. Yeah, I think this is pretty nice. So let's enter battle. Oh, while I do that, I'm gonna go refill my cup. So I'm gonna be right back. Hey man, we got clap, bro. Let me see what happened here. What happened? Um, Elizabeth, she did some good damage. I'm going to retry that again. Um, so how did we lose right there? I mean, we put Kaseya. Kaseya is going to one shot everyone in the back, so I put the tank units in the back. Uh, let's try it again. Still win this. This 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 is an easy win right here. There it is. 
easy win. I'm just built like that. Now it's time for us to go back. 513 million. Wow, that's crazy. All right, let's continue. So, hmm. I mean, we don't really have any one-shot units right here, so I'm going to put Escanor back up top. Uh, Meliodas right here. And let's continue. What's... Okay, I have a question for you guys. What's your favorite team comp in the game so far? We have Purple Team Comp, which includes uh, Joaquin, Kaseya, um, Gustine, Karakin, etc. Kuniwiro. Blue Team Comp, we have Elizabeth, Meliodas, Escanor, Flight Rick, Mazno, Blunk. And for red team comp, we literally have Vicente, a support Hua, sub DPS Hua, um, Escanor, and Flight Yurik Mazano. And then for green element team comp, we have Shalil, um, got Child and Dorsey, that is a hard, um, Rachel, uh, Eon. Like, there's so many team comps. Like, what's your favorite team? I'll say, me personally, my favorite team. It has to be between blue team comp and purple team comp. But I'm really enjoying red team so far. The only reason why I'm not saying red team is because red team is still missing a tank unit. So I will say, um, yeah, for red team comp, all we're missing is a red tank. But other than that, we literally have a warrior unit, which is the brand new Hua. And we also have a good one shot DPS unit, which is Vicente. We have to support or like red team comp is looking good uh okay so your favorite team is shalil not bad escanor is good yeah escanor is broken like escanor is like by far the best i mean he i'll say escanor is he is the best blue element unit in the game I won't say that he's the best tank because you have Karaka, you can do provocation like three times and you have that as a hard who's just broken. So I will say Escanor, he is, in terms of survivability, um, Escanor is the most cracked unit when it comes to survivability. He is just broken. Meliodas was such a good investment. Yeah, he really was because at first, when I first had Meliodas, when I first used him, he was absolute trash with no copies but once you reach uh max rainbow stars broken absolutely broken all right we looking we're doing pretty good so far let's keep going um so this team has karaka and eh, this is an easy win red only because of vicente based I have never liked using Karaka personally. I agree. I mean, my Karaka, he's still not built correctly. Like, I don't, I don't even have him at, like, at least three green stars. So, I don't know. I'm gonna have to build Karaka sooner or later for purple team, but I feel like Karaka, he's literally good with no investment. He's just there to be a stall tank, and that's pretty much it. trial easy claps like he is good but i feel like he fought most of the time for me i mean for me i'll say karaka i mean he's only there to pretty much he's there to pretty much be a stall tank and that's literally it to help your team survive uh blue is my favorite but bio is my favorite character right now especially with the skin he has i'm hoping for a good tank red unit so i can build solid team around i agree i feel like vile he is the most broken red element dps in the game 100 percent most broken but he does require a decent amount of investment in order for it to be good so yeah but red red is starting to red is actually starting to catch up with um all the other elements in the game so far because 
out of all the elements, red was completely behind. There was no tank unit. There was no sub DP. It was just terrible. But now we have like a sub DPS support unit, which is the new Hua. We have support. We have DPS. All we're missing is a tank. That's all we're missing. I hope the leaks are true and the new rack are, is a good tank. Yeah, I heard that uh, the new SSR Plus rack is going to be a, a tank. I heard that, so... I don't know, we're gonna have to see, but if he is a tank, then that's gonna be pretty good. But I'll say the only thing that sucks is the fact that he is an SSR Plus. So it's going to be hard to max him out. So hopefully, what I'm hoping is that he's gonna be a good tank unit that requires low investment. That's what I'm hoping. Because if he requires a lot of investment, then that's an L. Vile is so crazy. One day I heard um, people hype him up and charge him. He was crazy. I mean, yeah, the reason why Vile got um, the reason why Vile is crazy now is because of the buff. Because before, Vile was like the worst, one of the worst SR Plus DPS units in the game. But um, they literally buffed him. Where like his, I'm pretty sure, I think it was his passive or special move. I think it was his special move. His special move can basically reset his cooldown for all of his active skills which is actually broken so that's why he's a really cracked unit because of uh the buff that he received but before before he got buffed he was absolute trash he got buffed yeah bio got buffed when he first came out he was terrible but they buffed him oh, what is this you guys are about to see what i'm talking about so um this is the buff right here so if we look at his, I'm th I think it's his special move. Wait, what? It should be his special move. Let me go ahead and go back. Yeah, let me go back real quick. I'm gonna show you guys. I don't understand why it's not on his um, special move. It should be there. But if we check out Vio, a special. So, okay, there it is. So, it says right here, um, his active skill cooldowns are then reset. This was the buff. Before he got buff, um, this wasn't in his special move. And they added this. Where, like, when he does his special move, all of his active skills will be reset. And that is broken. And he also has, like, a barrier, which is just stupid. So, that's the main reason why he's, like, a really cracked DPS unit because of his um, special move. Uh, what is the best character for non paid to win players i mean <laughs> this guy right here obviously he's really the best character at first it was yiwa she was the best dps like okay i will say when it comes to yiwa she is a really cracked dps unit but at the same time when it comes to like getting rid of the enemy immediately, you're gonna need Joaquin and so many other DPS units who can basically do insane one-shot damage. Iwa can't do one-shot. She has good AoE damage, but she doesn't have insane one-shot damage. So that's why Joaquin is better. All right, so wait, I think we should increase. Yeah, we should increase was was um let me break right here let me break tier effect resistance there go ahead and increase that y'all like let's be honest man this is like the best this has to be the best character design in the game so far i'm not even gonna lie i look at this this is goaded they did they they cooked they cooked with her skin my gosh 
there's a reason why she's one of my favorite characters in this entirety like in this whole game all right let's go ahead and continue trial area we have four more attempts so let's see what happens here to me they feel pretty close but yeah he probably a little better yeah i feel like they're really close in terms of damage but when it comes to like which unit can one shot four is definitely walking for sure but he was definitely like one of the top dps units in the game for sure he's literally like she's literally like broken in the early phase of the game <clears throat> I'm surprised none of my characters died so far. I thought Vi was gonna wipe everyone out. Not gonna lie. Oh, is Quarun any good? Yeah, she's good. I'm gonna drop the showcase video later on today, so. Yeah, I'm gonna drop that video so you guys can see if she's good or not. I talked about her in, in earlier in the live stream, so you can go like play it back and you can watch it again. Okay, battle stats broken. guys play afk journey though i've been grinding that game so hard plus there's going to be a new update a new season dropping on may so i'm really excited for that new update on afk journey for sure Yo, we are getting absolutely tortured right now Ooh, that one shot is crazy I think we can still win this. <laughs> I think we're gonna run out of time. My Yo, Yuri is not taking any damage. Do you guys see this? She's taking zero damage. That's crazy. I keep meaning to pity on the game. Oh, you got you got Aaron maxed out. Yeah, uh, Aaron Aaron is a really good unit when you max him out for sure. But you still don't have Thorin. Yeah, Thorin is really broken. He's like the best tank in the game. I don't think we can beat this man. They're they're taking a lot of damage, so I don't I don't know if we can beat that. That's pretty much all we have for child area. Um oh, we can check out Childs of Chaos. I'll take you from here. I must go to use this team. Yeah, let's use this. This staff that she throws in the battlefield is so stupid. Just look at that. She's just throwing a staff that's just zigzagging all, all around the battlefield. It's crazy. That skill is that active skill is insane. Yeah, she's a good character, man. They cook with they cook with claw. Your swordsmanship is on. Wanna check the stats? 366 million damage. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, let's continue from there.
Now, there's also another character I want to talk about that can pair pretty well with uh, whoa. After this attempt, I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, she died. Wow. I think we can still win this, though. We can still win this. Yeah, we can still win this. But I think there's like another character we can pair pretty well with um, what? Because of the basic attack. So I'm gonna talk about that in a couple minutes. Bro, Yuri is tanky. He's taking no damage. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. One billion damage right there. Alright. So, here's the character I wanted to talk about real quick. So, if I come over here to teammates. So, you guys know, already know that, uh, Hua, the new sub DPS Hua, she has basic attack involved in her kit, and she can do some pretty good damage with her, you know, basic attack. Now, a unit that's going to pair pretty well with Hua is, of course, we scroll down, this character right here, Lero. And the reason why Lero is going to work pretty well with her is because when we look at his skill, his passive, so, of course, the magic pierce. But we come over here to his active skill, look at this. Blitz increases their basic attack damage by 120% and decreases the energy of the target's hit by their basic attack by 16. Hey, I don't know, but this is sounding pretty, pretty cracked. So if you pair up uh, Lero with Hua, her basic attack damage is going to increase, and on top of that, she's going to decrease energy of the target hit by her basic attack. That's actually pretty nice. So, Lero is going to be a really, really solid character to pair up with uh, Hua, considering the fact that uh, she can do a lot of basic attack. So, just wanted to point that out. So actually, I actually want to test that out and see how good it is. So, if I come over here to Adventure, and... Which character should we take out? I feel like we should probably take out... Um, let's take out Vicente. And let's put in... Let's put in Lero. This is just testing. So I'm going to put... Him in the bottom right here. And let's see the damage. Let's see the damage. So what is going to be our main DPS? Well, let's see what happens. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yo. Ooh. You can actually make her a DPS unit, a main DPS. So I was right. Look, if we look at the damage, 256 million. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna talk about that in the showcase video. Um, Lero, you can pair Lero up with a uh, Hua because of that basic uh, basic attack damage. So that's actually kind of crazy. Let's point continue. Let's do a uh, stage 34. Same exact thing. Alright, so got the basic attack damage increase. Now hopefully she can stay alive. Okay. Nice. Woohoo! Yo! Lero is cracked with her. They're really, really good together. So this is what we're looking at right now. We're looking at 176 million damage. Wow. It's actually pretty good. So if you guys are wondering if Lero works well with her because of her basic attack damage, then there you go. They work really well together. So yeah, I'm definitely going to talk about that on my video. Because I feel like that's something that's really important. The basic attack damage, really, really nice. Mm. 
all right so if we look at the event i mean we complete the event so far um event exchange shop i mean i'm not gonna grind stages one and two i'm gonna grind the hard stages so that i can get the resources in the event shop so i can get another copy of her so i'm just gonna exchange this get that and then uh Wow, 24,000 EXP. And then this, I'm not gonna claim this yet. We don't need that. I am gonna claim this. And we can come over here to growth and we can just level up right here. So we got Nero, level 301. I'm gonna level her up. Escanor, pretty nice. And if we look at the astrolabe, yeah, we do have to level up right here too. So I'm gonna level this up. All right, we completed a lot of things. Also, how is the kid Yuri just got her one copy as a 29 floor guy? She's good. Um, once you reach the end game, like once you reach higher floor, like higher um floors. She is going to require at least three red copies, but if you're still like in the early phase of the game, she can do some pretty insane damage. She can actually carry. So yeah, Kid Yuri is actually pretty good at the early phase. But once you reach the end game, like once you reach the late phase of the game, um, you do have to get some copies of her so that she can um, survive. Because the biggest problem with Child Yuri is her survivability without copies. So, hopefully that makes a lot of sense. Um, teammates. And yeah, if you guys are wondering um, what ignition weapon you need on the new character, um, like I said, Bergamot, or you can try on uh, Mion, uh, basically the defense set. You can try on this set as well. So, those are like the two best sets for her because of the fact that she can proc provocation. And on top of that, um, the Bergamot set will increase her life still, which is going to increase her survivability. Now, I think Idea, Idea can be pretty interesting because it's going to allow her to use her special move two times, which is going to allow her to pretty much land all of her basic attacks for like 12 seconds. So that's going to be pretty interesting, but I still prefer Bergamot and Mion. I'm just investing into other stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much the new character. Really solid unit overall. If I come over here to her revolution system, I literally have her at tier one. So yeah, really good unit. Really, really good unit. But I think I should, I mean, how long we've been streaming so far? Uh, one hour, 35 minutes. That's not bad. I think this is a good, a good place to a good stopping point. We literally covered the new character. We talked about Hell Train. Um, we also talked about a team that you can use with her. Yeah, we did a lot. We did a lot in this live stream. So I think this is a good stopping point. So yeah, I'm gonna be ending the live stream at that and the showcase video for Hua will be out today so stay tuned for that if you are wondering whether or not she is a good unit i want to tell you guys right now she, yes she is a good unit and i will be dropping a video talking about her team um you know ignition weapon and which characters you should, you should use with her and how many copies you need on her so stay tuned for that video it will drop probably around like seven o'clock or six so yeah it will definitely be up today so stay tuned for that but yeah, I'll be ending the live stream at that. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the live stream if you haven't. I really appreciate it. And I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.